What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we do a lot of menu stuff. As you can tell we have a few, few other pieces of asset in the game. We have the splash screen and once we press on play some more animation. At the beginning we get the, uh, the splash screen only then we press on go. The splash screen goes down we have this menu popping up here. We also have like very subtle animation when we're picking up coins as you can tell. And now it just failed. We also have a new death menu. So that is what we're going to be doing today, just a little bit of polishing on the UI and without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so first part of <coughs> All right, so first part of today's episode is going to be to go gather some more assets. Um, if you head back into the, the website, if you're downloading this after um, September 2017, then you should already have those, but if you're doing it before, then um, you might not have these assets, we just added three simple image and I'm going to drag and drop these right into the game. Of course you can make that yourself, it's fairly simple to do and uh, in case you don't have these and you want these simple images you can go ahead and uh, re-download the thing from the website, re-download the package from the website and uh, with these three things now we need something more, we need a fund. Now we didn't include a fund because we're not allowed to redistribute funds and you know you can take some time and pick the best one for you but the best tip I can give you is to head over to this website right here which is 8001 funds and look for something and that's really important look for something that is free for commercial use now this one with the red ticket right here it means that it's free for personal use so you can put it in your game as long as you don't put any advertisement or you don't sell your game this one over here has a green tag it says free for commercial use so that is something you're looking for if you're trying to monetize your game now um, I went in a browse bit, I found this one, Ninja Naruto, of course this game is not anime or anything, but it's kind of comic and uh, I did like that, that font, so I'm going to go ahead and download this by clicking the big download button, it's going to go inside of my download folder, let's open that up, and I am going to extract. So this is going to give you a readme file and also <laughs> um, a poorly written written me file and also the fun file you just all you have to do in Unity is drag and drop this in your project and now you're going to have access to use that fund so I'm going to go ahead and put everything we just included under artwork let's put that under menu slash UI and drag and drop all of these you're going to need to modify these three images, you're going to need to modify them to uh, make sure they are sprite to the NUI, so I'm going to go and do that, hit apply, and then you're going to see that they have transparency. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to go under the game menu and change the score up a little bit. So we have the score going on here, we are going to go ahead, take this, and change the font for our new font. So we end up with something like this, which is looks kind of weird right now, but I think it could look good in the game once we actually start modifying those. Okay, let's put that on the last one too. And it looks a little bit more cartoonish. Now, I don't think we see the dots, so that might be a problem. And as I browse a little bit more, I found this one right here, Comic Handy, free for commercial use, and it does support the dots, so I'm going to go ahead extract this one instead and that's the one I'll be using. I really just want to have something that looks a little bit uh, comic. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one, drag and drop the new one. And we should now be able to replace, replace the missing font by this. The font size in this case is going to need to be bumped up a lot so we're looking at something like 30 in this case. And uh, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the, this actual score panel here, maybe modify, give it some room, um, 45 in X, who knows, something that looks good. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click here, new image, and that image is going to be the diamond. Now let's take that diamond, anchor it at the very top left, position could be 10, minus 10. Uh, is 25 by 25 too big? No, I think that's actually quite perfect, and let's scroll it down next to this thing. 
so maybe somewhere right about here and I'll be pushing the menu not a menu but the score a little bit more like that so this is what I'll be using right here and we will be creating a small animation with this token in a few that's fairly simple UI now um, one more thing I'd like to do is actually up here we have the game menu I'd like to create a not a game menu but like a, a menu a real actual menu that we we see before heading into the game so I'll create a new panel make sure it takes the whole screen I'll just call this one menu and we'll be swapping in between this one and the game menu once we of course enter the game with this one I just simply want to have a splash screen so new UI panel let's anchor that at the top width is going to be the same um, and the height could be 200 so that's where we would be putting our splash screen so for the splash screen I'll go under UI just write subway skater make sure it's centered use a new font and I'll make sure also my text uh, scales on both axes so we have all the space in here and we could be putting it like that I don't know alright so we have returned right here we have the new splash screen which is basically not a, um, a text so I'll be removing this text component and I'll simply be adding a uh, image instead so this one I've put it inside the same folder it's called splash I have to change it to a sprite to the UI first hit apply and then we're gonna go ahead and put it right here under the source image so it's something like that looks a little bit better than just the text itself we have to play around with the settings though and uh, make it a little bit less big so maybe give it 20 on all axis so this looks a little bit better and uh, we can play around with the camera make sure we don't we don't um, have this thing going on here where the diamond at the top here is really too close to this glacier so they look like they're touching the colors are blending maybe we don't want that so I'll be taking my camera make sure I go under a line view with selected and I'll just be playing around with this until it actually looks good on both hands so that could do it now remember that we don't see the game menu in the back there now the thing left to do is of course to get rid of it once we start the game so as we did with the other menu as with the um, the actual game menu we're gonna be creating a animator for this one and under the animator let's go under animation let's find a new animator so create and then animation controller let's call this one a simple menu and we're going to assign it now press control and 6 to open up the animation window under this animation window we're going to be creating two states just like the other one menu show and menu hide now you probably guessed it we're going to do the same exact thing as we did on the other one so show would be this state right here so let's make sure we actually take um, for this one let's not do the fade and fade out let's actually move it through transform so we actually cover both and that is you know we get to learn both ways so instead of animating a canvas renderer I am going to simply press record move it up and down so I'm gonna be animating this whole thing um, so now it has the it should actually have the right transform position in top and bottom so let's take this put it on zero and it's down here so the keyframe are recorded that's all we need let's go to the hide so when we're hiding this let's make sure it just goes all the way up like this that could do it or all the way down depending on which one you like the most would you like to see this go down or would you like to see it go up now uh, later on we might have other um, UI pieces like down here so I'm thinking we can just get rid of those UI pieces down first so we, we go from here to there that would work I'm gonna put it exactly at 480 because that's the size of our resolution and this one is minus 480 and that's pretty much it the next part is to actually connect it inside of the animator and then we need to set the triggers 
So let's do the animator first this time. I'm going to double click on menu. They put the um, the states here for me already. So I'm going to go under parameters, create triggers. This is show. And this is hide. At the very beginning, we want to be on the show, so that's fine. And then once we click on the screen, we want to be going to the hide. So we go on the hide when the condition, this condition, is on hide. Let's also create one for show, even though I don't think we'll ever use it. And we now have everything we need. So back in the code, we are in the game manager. We're going to create a new animator for this. So public animator game canvas, let's do menu, anim. And now this new animator, menu anim, is going to be set at the exact same place as the game canvas. So menu anim, set trigger, and this one we need to hide it. So instead of playing the fade out animation, it is going to play the slide down animation. We're going to give this a try, see how it looks in the game. So what about, um, what if we just zoom in a little bit? We start like this, we press. It's supposed to slide down, but it didn't for some reason. So let's find out why. Oh, we of course did not assign it to the game manager. So let's go ahead go here, grab our menu, put it here, play. And it slides down, this menu is still there and we now have the new font as well. Now I don't like these, it's not I don't like the font, I just don't like the fact that we don't really see much, so I'm thinking about putting a background behind it now that we have our new background pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do do just that and I also like to add an animation when we collect a, um, a diamond, I'd like to make this thing pop just for a little bit, just like a, a really quick animation where it just gets bigger and then goes back to the normal size. Last thing I'd like to do is add the animation. Like I said, add a, a little animation to this token right here. I want it to get bigger when, once we collect a diamond. So simple animator work again. I'm going to click on my image, call it diamond. Oops, diamond. Add a animator to it. And I'm going to create a new animator controller. This one's gonna be diamond. I'm gonna be doing this quite fast since we have done a lot of animation already, so we know how that work. Click on it again, control six. I'm also gonna make sure I put the uh, diamond animation controller in here, then create. And we're going to be creating diamond, I'll just call this pop. The only thing I wanna be doing with this animation, something super simple, is um, at the beginning, we're going to record the size of this thing. So width is at 25, 25. And over the course of about um, 10 frames, we'll say it goes up to 30. So it does this really low pop like that. And super quick goes back to 25, 25. So that's animation right here just look like you're collecting the thing. You can also change the color, like you can do everything you want. Um, so what about at the beginning, we have the white color. No, I'm just freestyling to be honest. White color and then we go to a quick green like this. And then back at the white color. Something like that could work. Right, so that's super fast. We gotta make sure that this animation is not on repeat, so we don't, you know, once we collect one thing, we don't always go in this mode. Um, we are going to go under diamond, diamond pop, make sure we don't put a loop time on it. And now go back, I'm going to remove the animation window and move it manually without, like, having this in any animation. Maybe move it here, center it a little bit more. And what we're gonna say at this point is whenever we do the collecting, we are going to call a trigger on this object again. So back in the game manager, I know we're just jumping back and forward, but you, you, you know the drill at this point. Uh, UI and UI field, let's put that here. That's gonna be the diamond, diamond animator. And once we collect a coin, we should have that somewhere here. So get coin, we're gonna say diamond animator, set trigger. Let's call this one collect. Now in our diamond state machine, 
which is right here. We have the diamond pup. Um, it's gonna do it at the beginning. Um, not sure if we want that, but actually, I think it's gonna do it while it's hidden, so that's fine. Now, um, at any time, we want to be doing a transition from any to diamond pup only if we have this trigger called collect. So add a trigger. Under animation, you'll find the list of condition. You'll wait for collect. And let's give this a try, see if it works. So I haven't seen it just far. Animator is not playing any animation. Hmm. What if we collect something? Oh, we of course did not assign it. So let's go under Game Manager, find our diamond, put it in here. And let's see if we have any problem with that. So we do get like something here that doesn't work. We says uh, it says animator is not playing a animation animator controller. Let's look into this after collecting some coins. So we did get the animation. I think it looks actually quite good. Uh, might want to be moving this a little bit higher, but this does work. And it turns out that's only because our menu was turned off. So if we put them both up, as you can tell, we don't get that error anymore. So at this point, I'm going to turn them both off and we're going to tackle the last thing of this episode is going to be the death menu. So this awful thing at the top here, we're going to be modifying it a little bit so it looks better. The play button over here, we have a button for now, uh, for that now. It is right here. Um, scaling wise is going to need some help. The text, going to remove it. And let's actually make that a little bit less painful. So maybe 80 by, let's do 45 by 120, that could work. Now, um, in terms of those texts, of course, we change them to our new font. Bump the scale up. We can be removing this thing here. I don't really like it. And what else? At that point, it's really up to you. Like you find something that you like. Uh, I'm going to be adding a diamond next to this or above it. And the score, I'll be putting it a little bit higher. So let's right click, add in the UI, image, find the big diamond icon, scale it down, 30, 30. And I'll be adding that just on top of this guy. Okay, so let's give it a try, see if we can die and have something that doesn't look that bad. It's a little better. Scaling wise, it kind of sucks. We need to make this a lot bigger and uh, maybe bring this button a little bit lower, closer to where your thumb would be if you're playing those kind of games. So let's take these play button, the score. No, actually, play button, the image, and the coin. Let's bring them down, make them a little bit bigger. I'm actually going to be using this for a second and then I'll be bumping, bumping it back up. So that might be good. Let's put it back, and the score has to be higher, of course. Something like this, why not? Let's give it a try once more, after playing around with the values. And that is, of course, a lot better once we fix the position issue. So we're looking at this much. I'm just gauging this, like I'm not... I'm not actually uh, measuring anything, really, I'm just gauging it as best as I can. And that could do it. Okay guys, that is actually where we're going to be ending today's episode. Make sure you turn on your game menu and your menu again. We've done a lot of little polishing that's going to you know, make things look a lot better in the end. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, I hope you learned something, and if you did, please leave a like on the video, we always appreciate that quite a lot. Click on the video right now if you want to head to the other episode where we are most likely going to uh, well, just start saving the state and like start uh, knowing what is the high score. Also, uh, let's make sure we remove this thing at the top here, top left, once we die. We'll do that in the next episode as well. Other than that, please check out the link in the description down below for Discord. Join our awesome community. Check out the Patreon link to support us and also all the other things that you're going to see down there. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will be catching you in the next one. Cheers.